What's going on guys? Jump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, I'm at my boy Rondi's house over here in Delaware. Look at this amazing farm he's got. He's got over 100 HX30s. He's got like, what is it, 200 and something GPUs, 230 GPUs or so? 205 GPUs running right now. As you can see, there's a stack of GPUs over here. We got some old uh, 5700s, I believe, and these are RX 580s or something, or maybe that's up here, actually, I believe. Older cards. Actually, that's a 3060 right there. But, man, he's got so much stuff. Look at this RTX 4090 that was actually just giving us a hard time. It was weird. Only this fan was spinning. These two were uh, kind of trickling on and off, which was strange. But he's got three vast AI rigs, which is one here. There is one up there. And then where's the third one? Yeah, three, right? Is there two up there? Yep. Oh, oh, down here. Oh, I didn't even see it. Damn, this one's like hidden. So the 3080s down here. I got you. Nice. Man, that's crazy. So this is like the vast section. Then again, like I said, he's just mining Dynex on all of these GPUs. I was more or less shocked that he had this much stuff up and running because every one of these Octominers are on and loaded with GPUs. He's got another setup over here ready to go. Just has to power up these three PSUs that are under there is actually two server power supplies one here 1200 watts there's another one back here somewhere i think that's like an 850 or so and then he's got a normal atx psu just to control the motherboard and stuff and uh actually we just tested this out b250c to make sure that this was working and uh yeah man crazy crazy amount of stuff my man my man appreciate you let's check this out so what do you got in here this cabinet you got all flux nodes is that flux nodes your server right so this is server rack, flux nodes. Right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. Matt Electron is uh, another YouTuber. If you guys don't know, go check him out. But yeah, he hooked up Rondi with this thing. Look at this. So what? So this is. This is a Dell R420. Right. That's nice, um, man. I'm sure. I'm running on RAID on it. Okay. And this is my flux node um, workstation. Flux node workstation, nice, nice. Thing station B20. Okay. It's running two Xeon old 6154s. 320 gigs of RAM, DDDR4. 320 gigs of RAM? Jeez. It has. That's wild. Four 1.6 terabyte SSDs. Enterprise wow. SSDs. God damn. Yeah, one that 10 is... terabyte mechanical hard drive for storage. <laughs> what? Yeah. That thing's insane. Yep. That's crazy. That's 72 threads, 36 core. And he's got, what, you got, I think you have what, four nodes on that right now? Is that what it is? Four nodes. It's taking like four, five percent of the total <laughs> CPU capacity. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy and all these gpus here are all running dynex right yeah, yeah. all of these everything like yeah. even everything's running dynex actually Jeez. i think i have two spec mining right now okay yeah all right now so like this server case this is a custom built server case is that how that works actually yeah this is a btc v37 motherboard in okay in there. and is a regular 100 bucks case that I bought off eBay. Oh, wow. And, and the, the Riseless mother... The just... motherboard fit directly on it. It comes for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. What about this one? Is this the same thing up here? It's the same thing. Actually, this is a special motherboard. They they are all PCIe Time 8. Okay. This motherboard. It's like a server-grade motherboard. You just, it runs on a Xeon base. Right, CPU. right, right. Right. That's wild, dude. Yep, yeah. yeah absolutely love it this is so cool this is the shot you get when you walk in here it just hits you in the face like holy shit he has this many gpus <laughs> up and mining i wasn't expecting any of this to be on to be honest because as of right now like nothing's profitable right like these are all the hx30s you said these two and yeah. all those right yeah. and i think he got these stupid cheap what'd you pay for these for like 30, a piece. 30 bucks a piece so it was about 3k for 100 of them right well, more or less, 3300 bucks or something. This Have you ever seen a CMP 170HX? Remember that graphics card that, that hash Ethereum 
160 mega hash. I don't no. personally, no. It's like a $5, GPU, but I got oh a yes, but I never, I never had my hands on one. I right put. Here. You got it? Yeah. What the hell? Sorry, fumbling on my camera. Uh, dude, what? CMP. Where'd you get this? How long ago? My plug. That's crazy. When did you get it? Just now? No, I got it like about two weeks ago. Why is it not on? Explain yourself. I'm still, I'm still testing. <laughs> still, I'm testing. still testing. <laughs> Yeah, but I plugged it on. I'm mining Ethereum on it. That's great. So this is a and 67 mega hash a second. A hundred? What ETC you did? ETC. ETC. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice. that's crazy. Sorry, guys. The, I'm like I'm working with a shotgun mic, so I'm trying to pick up his voice and 210 watts. His face, but this doesn't work like that. That's 210 watts. That's it. Same as a 38. I was giving it up. Was giving us 100 mega hash. Right, right, right. 200 something watts. This gave us 170. Dude, that's crazy. How much do you pay for that? Do you mind me asking? Of course. 390 bucks. That's crazy. That's what you blow my mind every time I talk to you. I don't even know. Like, you have too much money. That's the problem. You have too much money. Too many friends. That's why, yeah, I want to be like me and my ass, bro. <laughs> I just, I can't even believe it, dude. This is crazy. It's crazy. So when are you going to get that thing on? Like, what's your plans with it? Have you tried Dynex or did it Dynex do well? No, I got though. No, not as not good as like that. Okay, not like that makes sense. Because on paper, it goes it goes pretty much the same as a Radeon 7 yeah. on paper. Yeah. But it doesn't hash, it's the same. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So but it might be the miner that mm -hmm. hasn't been optimized for. Right. But yeah, something's up. So That's crazy. No shit. Well, what's your plans now? So now that you have all these up and running, right? Do you have plans for like what are you gonna do with those? Obviously Dynex, I assume, yeah. on that rig too. Like you're just balls deep on Dynex right now, and it's not cause not cause anything specific besides low power, right? It's the most profitable thing. Most profitable, yeah. Negative, you know. Yeah, right, right, right. I don't know. Out of all the coins, I feel like Dynex is one of those that have the more upside potential. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I tend to agree. Yeah. Doing something. And right. It's GPU. Right. Instead of maybe relying on ASICs down the road. Right, right, right. So, yeah. Makes yeah. sense, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, like, th all this stuff, right? 200, what'd you say, 205 Five. right now running? So, yeah. 205 without GPUs those. without those. <laughs> without those. Now, you like, the, the fact that you can run them all, I was, I was struggling running 130 back in the Ethereum days. And this amount of GPUs here just blows my mind that you can actually run them in a normal household circuit panel 200 amp is that what you got 200 amps i assume 200 amps. yeah but i'm not utilizing all of it like these these pdus so they each one of them have just a 30 amp breaker right there's one like outlet there another one is obviously plugged into this one and i guess there's two 15 amp banks is that what you said yeah, yeah. on each one of these banks. pdus that's great and these things are all like wi-fi manageable switches where you can literally log into this system and like shut off each port or reboot your rigs however you want. That's so freaking cool. Dude, this setup's just amazing. It really is. Uh, again, I'm more shocked that you can run all this shit in your house. So I've never had this many. I've had nine of these open airframes fully built out. There's like 130 GPUs, but I've never had all those Octominers and all these rigs. <laughs> it's wild. Back in the day when you was running Ethereum? Yeah. utilize like 80 watts each per car remember right yeah 80 watts yeah i tuned them down to like 30 ish watt each on dynamics people that don't know right these cards the hx 30s are mining specific 1660 supers right. basically but yeah man you got these for a steal and dude honestly when the bull run comes back sell them if you want and they would probably bring in a killing but damn this is awesome dude well i appreciate you letting me come by i just wanted to shoot a quick video for Everybody that was wondering what the hell you got going on because this is the biggest personal farm that I've seen in someone's garage ever. Like, literally, ever. It's nuts. It's nuts. I mean, he's got ASICs. Obviously, they're off, but... You're just a baby. Yeah, it's just a baby. Just a baby with 200 and something GPUs. I gotta keep my I gotta keep my door open so it doesn't explode from heat inside this place. Trying to catch up to Papa Panda. Papa, yeah, Papa Panda. There he is, Papa Panda. 
<laughs> also, the the other thing that's really cool, actually, before we get out of here, this fan, so he's got like a door over here, and that fan is running off a temperature sensor that's right here, so when it gets too hot, it just automatically turns itself on and shuts itself off, throttling the temperature inside this garage. It's like, it's stupid comfortable in here. It really is. Like, for it's cooler outside, I'm sure, during the summer, it was a freaking nightmare, but it's, uh, yeah, really not bad. 21C, yeah. But, all right, dude, appreciate you. Thank you very much, Mr. Rondi. Guys, hopefully you have a great day. Appreciate you all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.